All right, I'll tell you right now, you might notice me. Notice my stories go in 10 directions. This one's gonna go in about 15 directions. Look at that horse. If that ain't the dirtiest horse I've ever seen in my life. Well, if anybody keeps up with Branch, they know. Branch, at some point, has been abused. Of course, he was an auction horse, a rescue. Branch, please leave Mommy's tools alone. And Branch is terrified. You're being loud. People aren't going to be able to hear me. Branch is terrified of water. Terrified. Absolutely terrified of the water hose. Terrified. Uh, you know, most horses just love a bath. Well, Branch doesn't. So I've coaxed him this summer. On hot days, you come out here when it's about 100 degrees. You could kind of baby talk him into letting you spray the grass kind of near him, you know. And then him eating the wet grass, which probably ain't good for him, but that's the way we went. To try to get him to not hate the whole water hose situation. Well, I finally, a month or so ago, got branched away. He will let me branch quit. Daddy's going to kill us both. Stop it. He will let me, if it's wet, or hot, I mean, he'll let me, if I love on him and lay my face right here on his face and talk to him for a few minutes and tell him what a good boy he is and how handsome he is and that Mommy loves him. He'll let me spray him a little bit with the water hose. Well, he's been doing better about letting me spray more. I mean, we're still not getting in baths or anything, but we're doing it. You know, we're, we're working on it. And every time I spray him off, Usually he goes and gets over there in his sand pit, but today he flopped down right here. Second I was done, he flopped in this sand. Two feet in front of me and rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled. And you know, we live in sand. I can't believe grass grows. We, got, we don't have dirt. We don't own dirt. So, uh, would you stop? What do you want? What do you want? Go on. I'm out here working on his stall. That's what started all this. So Branch can't stand in his stall in front of his fan. And be, he didn't want to stand in shade anywhere because, you know, horses want to know what's going on. They're curious. So he's got to be up your butt anytime you're doing anything to see what you're doing. And flies are getting on you now, Bubby. And, uh... I'm out here, so he's out here standing in the sun. So even though it's about, I don't know, 86 or something, I mean, it's not really, really hot. Him standing in the sun, you know, he heats up enough that I thought, yeah, he'll let me bathe him. He'll let me spray him off really good. So I sprayed him off really good. He got a lot of loose hair out there. And then he rolled in the dirt. He's been trying to bite for a few days. I don't know what this pony toed thing is he's got going but I'm trying to nip it anyway the point about this is I'm gonna be a while because I have no freaking clue what I'm doing and branch ain't no help and pop here comes poppy again through the gate down there poppy keeps coming down here and getting all up in our business because poppy and branch are kind of buddies and uh you know, I don't know how to use tools and stuff like power tools. And Ernie says that he won't show me because I'll, like, cut my hand off or something. You know, but Jesus Christ, I'm going to cut my hand off because nobody will show me how to use them. So I'm just figuring this shit out on my own here lately. And, uh, you know, I was never allowed to use stuff like that here come poppy. Growing up, because my dad firmly believed, my dad was a wonderful man, that there was responsibilities for the husband and responsibilities for the wife. And and uh, even though my mom did work, but, you know, if we hadn't absolutely needed her to, she he probably wouldn't have wondered to do that. He'd wonder to stay home. Which, I mean, he wasn't, you know, male shaving his pig or nothing, but 
like uh, I grew up, there was me and my sister and two brothers, so there was two boys and two girls, and I was the baby, so I really didn't do crap. Did I, Brent? What are you smiling about? <laughs> Say, Mama didn't do crap growing up because she was the baby. But my dad firmly believed that there was a, uh, a job for men and a job for women. And so my mom, she was like 76 when she died, and I don't think she had ever mowed a blade of grass. My dad and my brothers did it. You know, and they changed oil and fixed cars and changed tires. I've never changed a tire in my life. I'm 49. You know, until I got ducks and I wanted a little push mower, I never uh, cut any grass. I had Ernie, we got, you know, a big riding mower. Ernie got me a little push mower with a bag on it so I could cut grass for my ducks. And, uh, did you fall, honey? Did you fall, baby? So, um, you know, he thought that women should cook and do dishes and clean the house and, and men should mow the grass and have a job and support their family and, you know, things like that. Although, I mean, my dad would jump in there and change diapers and stuff. Like I said, he wasn't a male shaping his pig. He was a good man. He was a really good man. But that leads me to my brothers grew up. My dad showing them, you know, how to use power tools. And my dad had a lot of tools and and he practically built mom and dad's house and, and uh, you know, his own house. And, and it was, he bought a small house and turned it into a large house. And, and everything's perfect. I mean, nothing's, you know, he knew what he was doing. And uh, he was a really good carpenter and stuff. And, uh, but because of that, I'm 49 years old and, I mean, if I ever have to change my own tire, I guess I'll just sit there and starve because I don't, I'd kill myself trying to do that. And, uh, you know, I saw those roto zip things on TV and I'm like, shit, those things look easy enough for, you know, a freaking 10 year old to use. Surely I can figure that out. So I made him buy me one of those and today might be the day I use it. Uh, because he's got to work this weekend. And I need this done. So this is not something, I mean, today's what? Tuesday? Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. So this is not something I can wait. Well, maybe today is Tuesday. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. It's Tuesday or Wednesday. But this is not something I can wait until Friday of next week. For him to be off work to deal with. So I got to figure his crap out. So, fathers, teach your daughters to get them a good man. Not a good baby daddy, a good husband that's committed. That has a good job. But at least teach them the basics about using power saws. Because if I cut one of my damn hands off, I'm going to be so mad. Bye, y'all.